Hey Taurus, welcome back to my channel. This is going to be your general reading for the week of October 28th through November 3rd. So let's just jump right in and see what messages we get for you. And this is for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus placements. And we have the King of Cups at the bottom of the deck. Wow. Okay. Lots of really powerful energies coming through. We have Justice, which is Libra, the Tower, the Ace of Cups, and the Star, which is Aquarius. So lots of um, really powerful sort of... I just kind of feel like there's something about your situation right now, Taurus, that is really turning over um, a new leaf, kind of like there's a situation that is transforming um, from a maybe perspective of feeling as though things were not going to work out, they weren't going to go according to plan, kind of like you may have had that feeling in the past because of how things were going. It's almost like you could already sort of see it go downhill, but I feel like this week something is going so uphill that it's kind of like the universe is saying, you see Taurus, you just had to be, you know, patient, you just had to wait, you just had to be hopeful. Um, you know, if anything, I just feel like this is confirmation that your uh, persistence towards something is always going to be rewarded. And I feel like you've been very persistent. And you've been working very, very hard to establish the foundation of something. Maybe this is about a relationship. For some of you, it could be about a relationship, a connection, a partnership, uh, maybe in business, right? I feel like that Three of Pentacles is that emphasis on working together. Um, and I feel like with the Ten of Pentacles, this is also confirmation that someone's open heart and someone's open mind is allowing for this to happen. So with that Ace of Cups, I feel like this is an abundance of positive emotions, positive energies, positive thinking. Um, I kind of feel like with the Tower, there is that very radical transformation happening this week. I also feel like the Tower could represent something specific, so we're going to look at that. Um, I feel like justice is about stability. But for some of you, it is literally justice. It is karmic justice. It is something going your way in court. It is a legal matter being resolved. It is about, you know, the law being on your side, right? And then with the star, this is about that optimism, that faith in the universe, but also that rejuvenation of the energy of your situation. So let's go ahead and clarify the tower. Two of Pentacles. So feels like you're going to definitely have to make a decision here or you will be inspired to make a decision because of the way that things are changing for you and we are seeing two 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 which is all about new beginnings um so we have the two of swords two of wands and the king of pentacles and i feel like that is your energy divine masculine earth energy i feel like this is all about stability something like you feeling more grounded this week with the Two of Wands, I feel like you're going to make some plans for the future that are going to be concrete, right? They're plans that you're um, not sort of uh, questioning. I feel like you're looking towards the future, thinking about certain things and saying, I know that that's going to happen, not just thinking, I hope it happens, right? There's a difference. And I feel like with the Two of Swords, um, maybe what's happening here with that Tower energy is that something that was confusing before is so clear now. Right? So it's like we're transforming that Two of Swords to that Two of Wands, and then that allows us to make a decision. It allows us to create that stability, right? He has sort of like this sort of balancing um, kind of situation there with the infinity sign and the Two Pentacles. So it's like there's an infinite amount of possibilities here that allow for stability and a groundedness to happen. So let's go ahead and clarify justice. All right, we have Hermit, which is Virgo. Maybe you're connecting to a Virgo. Maybe you have Virgo placements. We have the Four of Wands, the Page of Cups, and the Three of Wands. So I love this. I feel like this is, again, emphasis on there being, you know, this transformation between you and a person, maybe. It feels like there is this, again, opening of, you know, the mind, the heart. I feel like with the Four of Wands, you will be able to cross this, the finish line, um, you know, of a situation Kind of like maybe in the recent past you were on your way to cross that finish line but it's like there was this big block in the middle right there was like this obstacle that you just you know were trying to get through i feel like now that three of wands is confirmation that after you cross the finish line this next step that you're thinking about will be a reality um you know kind of like it doesn't just stop there you get to keep going right this isn't as good as it's going to get it's just going to get better so definitely 
Um, love that with the hermit at the bottom of the deck. If anything, this could be about, you know, you having some time here to really think um, about maybe what this all means for you. Maybe you've had a personal epiphany in the recent past. Maybe lately you've kind of had this sort of um, maybe just this different feeling about yourself or within yourself. It's kind of like sometimes when you just sit there with your thoughts, you have like this aha moment and then you're like, okay, wait, there's something you know, about this that really sinks in. And I think that maybe that's what, you know, has been happening here. Let's see, let's clarify the star. It's kind of like I'm getting so many different messages. I'm trying to put them all together, but maybe it sounds a little chaotic. Okay, we have the Ace of Swords at the bottom of the deck. We have the Ace of Wands, the Strength, which is Leo, the Lovers, which is Gemini. Um, so yeah, I feel like with that star, you're optimistic about a new connection. You're optimistic about something that you're taking a leap of faith on or it's something that requires courage. You know, if anything, you could be facing a fear related to love or a new connection. I feel like with the Ace of Wands, again, there's this open mind. There's this difference um, in the thinking and the perspective. We have the Ace of Swords, the Death card, which is Scorpio. The Magician, which is Gemini and Virgo Energy, then the Emperor, which is Aries, then the Six of Pentacles, then the Fool. So it's kind of like you're getting ready to take a leap of faith because it's almost like all of the people involved are finally on the same page about what is going on and what they want. So that Ace of Swords, it's like this level of clarity is happening and it's streamlining through everyone involved in the situation. And it's kind of like you can really see the potential of something because there's no questions about what somebody else is thinking, what they have on their mind. It's like everything is laid out on the table. And we are going, we are in Scorpio season, right? So with that death energy, it's kind of like here is this rebirth, right? Here is this evolution. It's like we're closing out a major cycle of confusion and not being on the same page. And we're finally manifesting, right? Being more in control so that everyone is able to, you know, express what they feel um, and then receive that back in transparency. All right, let's clarify the Ace of Cups. Three of Pentacles working together. Wow. All right, to clarify the Ace of Cups, we have the Moon, Cancer, Sun, Leo, Ten of Cups. The Moon and the Sun and the Ten of Cups. That's That's poetry right there. Um, and to clarify the Ace of Cups, again, there's this abundance. There's this abundance of people kind of coming together and saying, you know what, we both want the same thing, so let's just work towards it. I feel like that Ten of Pentacles is just confirmation. There's a common goal here, and I feel like everyone is willing to put in the same amount of energy to make that happen, right? Even with the sun and the moon coming through, it's kind of like maybe in the recent past there was a little bit of uncertainty, kind of like you may you may have been requesting reassurance from someone because it's kind of like what you were getting from them wasn't enough but it feels like now with the sun you can see you can see through all of that you can maybe even understand why it felt uncertain why it felt like you needed closure maybe there are things you know beyond the surface and you know sort of just I just feel like all the little details are starting to add up maybe you've had a recent conversation with somebody and that conversation just kind of like exploded um, into this new way of thinking or seeing this person. And I feel like now you're just like, okay, I get it. I understand. Now I know, right? With the Ten of Cups, there's this sort of feeling of happiness, right? From just knowing that things can be different, right? Just actually believing that this kind of transformation is possible. Wow. All right. Let's clarify the, let's clarify the Ace of Wands here. We got we got the temperance at the bottom of the deck which is Sagittarius so maybe there is definitely something here about timing maybe divine timing behind the temperance is the hanged man which is Pisces and then that two of pentacles so I kind of feel like there was a moment in time where you were getting ready to make a decision but then you had to kind of stop right maybe you had to pause something and that may have felt very um 
you know, the opposite of reassuring, right? Maybe that sort of made you feel as though, okay, this is not going to happen, right? Because if, if I'm having to stop, if I'm having to take a pause just when I was ready to make that decision, that must mean that I can't, right? So it feels like that whole thing is being transformed. That's that change in perspective. And to clarify the Ace of Wands, we have the Knight of Swords, the Six of Wands, and the Eight of Cups. So to me, this is speaking to there being a success in something that you may have had to walk away from for the moment. But now with the Knight of Swords, it's like we're going back to that. It's like we are retracing our steps. We're going back to that moment and we're starting it all over because at this point, it is going to be a success. It is possible. So I feel like the universe is saying, don't give up on this dream, right? And I feel like you're not. And that's why you're going to see that Ten of Cups. So really, really love this for you. Hope you take it all in. And if you like this reading and it resonated, please give it a like. Please subscribe and I will see you in the next one.